Okay, we are here and ready for the next section, part six, cleaning out the inside of the gourd. So we've cut open our flaps. We have easy and complete access to the inside, which is the point of cutting out this flap in this way uh, and making it so big. Uh, so, and I did another gourd as well. I want to show you the difference. Each of these gourds is going to dry a little differently on in the inside. So this, you can see the inside flesh has dried and pulled away from the inside edge of the gourd's hard shell, okay? So that's going to be a little easier to remove. Now, contrast that with this one I just cut open a few minutes ago. You can see that the inside flesh is still pretty tightly bound to the inside edge of the gourd, okay? It hasn't pulled away and contracted. This is going to be a little harder to remove, okay? It's going to take a little more effort. What we want at the end of this is a clean inside, okay? You, there's no more skin, there's, I mean, there's no more flesh inside. All you see is the bare, exposed, uh, hard shell, the inside portion of it, okay? That's gonna allow us to stain and seal the inside completely to get even more protection for our gourd. So, before we get into this, okay, I'm not gonna do it completely, but what you do is you put this over a bucket, you reach your hand in here and you pull out everything that you can, okay? There's a lot of dust. You want to wear a mask, okay? Dump out the seeds. Get everything you can with your hands. Same with this one. Same with them all, okay? Even this, you can see the contrast. This is just how I pulled them off. So this is, it just naturally came clean, this didn't, we're gonna to have to clean this lid. So anyway, remove with your hands what you can easily, and then we're gonna get into uh, how to clean the inside completely. So tools that you need, look at the outline here. We need to soak the insides to soften the uh, dried innards to be able to remove them a lot more easy. So. Again, a large bucket, a tub, a large sink. Uh, again, we need, these are gonna be light, they're gonna float. They're not gonna float as uh, uh, strongly because now they're open, but they're still gonna float. So we need some sort of weight or something to push these under. One word of caution, uh, let me see here. So because, because this is open, okay, if we have a large weight, say this is the edge of your trash can or bucket or sink, and you have a, a large weight pushing down like this, and this gourd is in warm to hot water, what's going to happen is that the shell is going to be squeezed and uh, the shape's going to be distorted, okay? So by the end of the soak, the shape of the hole is going to be distorted and changed such that this lid will no longer fit perfectly on the hole. So what you have to be careful of is just add enough weight to get these underwater. Do not put a heavy weight on these because you will warp the size and the shape of the hole, which will make it incompatible mostly or completely with its lid, okay? Um, now, once we soak the insides, it's, a lot of it's going to come out really easy just by scooping it. So, some household tools, you don't probably have to buy these. Serving spoon, okay. Basically, you want spoons of, let me try to get these, okay, in a fan shape. You want spoons of different sizes. Now, why is that, okay? So for a big gourd like this, we can use this to scoop out the insides, okay? As we get to the smaller gourds, 
All right, this is not really going to hug the insides that well, you know. We'll use a smaller spoon, that's going to be more appropriate. And then to get to the top parts and these necks and the uh, bulbous top parts, we're going to use even the smaller spoon. So based on the size of your gourd is going to determine what size a spoon and what part of the gourd you're going into is going to determine which size spoon. Finally, uh, just get a butter knife, something dull. We're going to use this to scrape off some of the harder parts. Uh, I found this knife in our kitchen drawer. I have no idea what it is or what it's used for, but um, sometimes for something like this, you know, it's easy. It's a little. It's helpful to get up into these uh, uh, bends in this bulbous portion. So. I can't tell you what this is or where to buy it. I have no idea where it came from, but if you have something like that, it might be helpful. Uh, but you can get by without it. Finally, get a uh, thick coat hanger, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use this later. Basically, uh, this part of the gourd is gonna be hard to clean sometimes, and sometimes we can snake uh, a hanger in there and kind of uh, grab and pull and scrape this portion of the gourd until that inside meat comes off and then falls through. Okay, so uh, if one of these gourds that we soak needs that, I'll show you how to use it. But that's one way to clean uh, portions like this. Okay, okay, so those are the tools and why we need the tools. So I'm going to give a demonstration first. I'm going to soak these things. So I'm going to stop the video, uh, soak these in the sink for, you know, I would say 15 minutes in warm to hot water, uh, and then come back and scrape out what I can and give you some, some tips on how to do that. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute.